G'day everyone, Scott here from One Green Thumb Gardening in Toowoomba. Today I just want to show you how I tie my shoelaces for my mongrel boots. Now this is my fifth pair of mongrel boots that I've owned and they are absolutely amazing. I'll wear them as my go-to shoe all the time. I will not wear anything else unless I have to. So I basically live in my mongrel boots. They're, they are at 13 months old. Calculated at about 3,500 hours of wear time. Um, probably don't need to be replaced, but they're looking a bit shabby. So how I tie my shoelaces is I put a reef knot in here, and that's because when you tie them up, they'll become like sloppy down here, and then I just get find the excess movement down here annoying. So what I do is I put a reef knot, so then that holds that bottom section together, and then I'll do another reef knot up here and just permanently tie it, cut my laces, burn them off, because once you tie your mongrel shoelaces, you never have to touch them again. That's why you've got a beautiful zipper. But most people you'll see with mongrel boots will have a triple shoelace knot, as they are just notorious for coming undone. And of course, then you'll see all this sloppiness in here. So, to do that, we've got to undo him. Alright, so the tools you will need is a something to pull, which you'll see. So I just use some spoons, you've got scissors, and a lighter. So what we're going to do, move this out of the way, you untie your shoelace. And then you're going to tighten that part up. That will loosen up as soon as you let go of it. And then we're going to tie our reef knot in here. But then we're going over and under in the opposite directions so that both will have two loops. I'm not the best at explaining knots. And then what I'll do is I'll generally just put my finger on these two outside parts. And then that's that one done. And then we just follow the direction of our lace into there. Then we're going to tie another reef knot so get him to where you want it to be that's comfortable i usually put like squish my feet up to make sure where you want him now the reef knot and then go for a walk to make sure that you've got it at the right um, so it's not too loose or too tight. Alright, let's go. Once we put tighten this, that's forever tight. Might just go a fraction tight in there. too tight. Then you got two spoons, wrap him around, and then you're going to grab him and pull him tight, cut him, and burn him. And done. 
So anyway, that's how I tie my mongrel boot shoelaces, which I find just saves me so much headache trying to retie my shoelaces a hundred times, even with your triple knots and whatever. Um, they still come undone. On this pair, I'd actually change the shoelaces to a different brand of shoelace, um, just because I was fed up with the mongrel boot laces themselves. But um, otherwise, you'll have a fantastic boot that'll give you hours and hours of enjoyment. Thanks for watching it and have a beautiful day. See ya.